adding facial expressions to a VR chat avatar really is a piece of cake, and it's way easier than baking. <laughs> you will need to have your models set up through VR chat's creator companion in Unity before adding your emotes. I have two tutorials you can check out before this one if you still need to do that. Now that your avatar is loaded into Unity, we need to figure out how to add face expressions. For the first step, I'll be teaching you how to create animations in Unity for your model. Click on your model in the hierarchy and then Control D to duplicate your model. This will allow you to create animations on the duplicated model so that we don't mess up how the original one looks. Trust me, you do not want to deal with this problem later. Let's click on that original model in the hierarchy and turn it off in the inspector so that we don't accidentally edit that one. I've also messed up this one before and it is a nightmare to try and fix. And you know what? Nightmares might even be better than having that problem. Click on the copied version, open up your animation window, and click create to create a new animation. I'm gonna start with creating an excited face expression. You can choose whatever face expression you want. Make sure to go crazy and create something ridiculous so that you can scare your friends. Name it whatever you need to, and then click save. I'll be testing out my emotes and playing VR chat on the Vive Focus Vision. I highly recommend this headset, especially if you're considering upgrading to full body tracking or to face tracking. This headset can easily allow you to get all of those. We will be using something called blend shapes to make the expressions. If you bought a model, chances are it already has blend shapes. If you're making one from scratch, you'll have to create these expressions or blend shapes you're Yourself. With the VRM model, for example, they already come with a set of them. Chances are that most avatar creators will have some kind of collection of blend shapes that are already baked into the model. I'm going to use a VRM model I made with Vroid Studio for this tutorial. Now you're going to click the drop down arrow and take a look at the blend shapes to see what you have. Do you have what you need? Do you need to go make more? That's for you to decide. Open your animation window by going to Window, Animation, Animation, and hooking the window down here next to the console. Click Create Clip and name it whatever whatever expression you want to work on first. Click record in the animation window and you can reposition Unity to have your model's face in the center by clicking Alt on your keyboard to move around and then zoom in. Now drag your blend shapes that you want to use for this expression until it reaches 100. You could have it be less depending on the look you're going for. Then you can stop recording. Click on the project folder and make sure your animation has appeared. It looks like this little blue triangle here. Also make sure that your loop time is checked on when clicking your animation in the project folder. For step number two, you're going to want to stick around because this is when we learn how to connect the face expression to your gesture. Go to the project section and find the packages folder. Scroll the VRChat SDK avatars, go to the sample folder, AV3 demo assets, animation, and find the avatar V3 hands layer. Click Control D to duplicate this. We do this so we still have an original copy of the hands layer in case things go wrong. Or we need to restart, which can happen very often when doing projects like this. Grab that and scroll up into the project folder and drop it into the assets. Go back to your assets and you should see it appear there. Right click and rename it to your model's name, then FX. Double click this to open it. And if the tab doesn't show up, go to Window, Animation, Animator. Click the settings gear wheel on all parts and click Delete in the mask. Next, go to the left hand and do the same thing. Now to the right, and once again, do the same thing. And now you can click on the left hand and select all the boxes that are named after hand gestures. Hold shift to grab idle two, as well as uncheck the motion time parameter and check right defaults. You can click the middle mouse button to move this around. Do this for the right hand as well. Go through each one individually and delete the motion. Next, choose which gesture you want excited to be tied to or that expression you're gonna use to scare your friend. Then drag that triangle icon slash animation into the motion section. You can do this exact same process for each emotion you wanna to add to a hand gesture. You'll need to go back to the scene and click this dropdown and then create new clip, which will be starting the steps of your next emote. You can add a unique emotion to each hand gesture per each hand. This brings you up to 14 total. You could probably add even more if you added more gestures, but this is not something that I've learned about yet or tried yet. If you have, feel free to let me know what works in the comments. Step number three is to upload your model to VR chat and do some testing. Make sure to go to the inspector and turn off the avatar you duplicated earlier and turn back on the original model before uploading. The controls will be different depending on the VR headset you're using. If you're on desktop, you can activate the expression by clicking F1 through F8 on your keyboard. If you learned something new by watching this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way I'll be able to bring you more VR chat tips and tricks and all kinds of different tutorials and keep you updated on one of the best headsets on the market right now, the Vive Focus Vision. Or don't, if you wanna frail up and stop learning cool things about VR chat, which come on, you know you want to learn new things about VR chat. Did you hit subscribe yet? And if you don't believe me when I say the Vive Focus Vision is one of the best VR headsets on the market, check out this video next and decide for yourself.